Hello and welcome to this first look mod video. Today we're going to be looking at the Shed Cow Barn by 750Ti Modding. So let's jump into it, let's go. So under construction we are under animals, cows, down at the bottom, Shed Cow Barn. And that is 50,000 of your pounds, euros or dollars. And it looks a healthy size, I like that. We've got the, uh, the, the cement lip that we can see so we know pretty much where we're going to be going. We'll just jam that on the we'll jam on the end here, that'll be fine. See what sort of footprint we get. Oh, not too bad. That's pretty clean and tidy. I like that. I like the tidy footprint. So I'll just give you a little bit about the blur while we're here as well. So it says price is 40,000. Its daily upkeep is uh, 30 pounds euros or dollars. Capacity, it says 50 cows. Uh, manure can be re removed from the cow shed in order to remove manure. A load of shovels should be placed in the marked place note manure can only be filled with a shovel so we'll have to give that a little look as well so down close and personal with it looks like we're gonna to need to get our light out again I, I need to adjust my morning light the shadow like that the shed that's the shadow from the bar look at that that's that's pretty clever okay and that's not even um mod related i don't think that's just game shadows anyway let's have a look at our shed shall we so we've got lights, so we'll have a little look and see if we've got a switch anywhere. We, oh, it looks like we have. Looks like we have. Switch on the light. There we go. Had to do it a few times, so I was just checking. So if I turn off my light, a little bit of light under here now. Fixtures and fittings looks good. We've got nice details with that. The gate. Is this a double gate? It is double gates. Nice. Closes on the same point as well. I'm going to have to put my triggers on. Apparently they're not on. There we go. That's better. I don't know why they were off. They're not normally. And we'll have a quick once around the shed and then we'll uh, see its workings. So yeah, a nice muddy footprint. Sort of a Eastern European style, old style shed, maybe converted old barn. I like it. I do, I like it. Oh, I like this. I'd have been more than happy for this to have been all that as well. That's nice. I like that. So we've got the sh milking shed here, so... A little bit of storage room here as well, and it has its own light. So let's try that as well. Light is on, light is working, very nice. So you could store some machinery in here, you could store some bales in here. That's pretty cool, I like that, very nice. So our, our milking point is here. I'm not seeing a slurry point, unless that's... Here. That may well be the slurry point there. Feed, slurry, milk, animals, manure. Yes, yeah, so it's got to be it. So, let's give it a little test. We can get our animal trigger. There we are. We'll stick some Angus in this one. Ten Angus. Nice. Our Angus aren't all, all black. We've got some, got some brown Angus. That's fine. But they're in there. They're happy. They're moving around. Looks good. And again, you can back up the trailer to do this and, and unload them after buying them at the animal dealership. Or you can go to the animal dealership and have them delivered directly. So next up, our next sort of test that we like to do is feed. So we're going to try some bales. We do have some bales on the back of our truck over here. So we're going to try a hay bale and see if this will go in feed. So if we just drop that down, the hay is going in. So that's good. So we can feed a hay bale. Can we put a straw bale in for bedding is the next question. Got our muscles out for this one. 
So if I just drop that down, it doesn't take. So we're going to have to put some bedding down. We'll go get a straw blower and um, we'll try and blow it in. Got a blower on the back of the John Deere today. So we'll drive through and we'll see if we can find our trigger. Oh, straight away. Nice and easy. That's what we like. So we'll dump some straw in. We'll see how much straw we have to get in for our straw bedding to show. Sometimes you have to put quite a bit in. So we got to about 8,000 litres of straw and the bedding started to show. I'm going to stick another one in there just so we get the, the showing of a, a straw bedding. So that's two bales in. So it's 18,000 litres of straw and it looks like there's more to go. So next we'll get some feed in there. So we've got our feeder wagon of TMR. Let's see where this triggers for us. Oh, nice and early. Again, we like that. So it's all the way along the front here. We feed our cows. So is it all they took? Or have I have I lost the trigger? Oh, I lost the trigger. So we treat we feed from this end, it would seem. And bales in at the other for for bedding. That's what it's looking like. So if you have any issues in trying to feed your cows with this one, come up and start by the little storage shed and see how you get on. There we are. Right, so I did come prepared. I do have a bucket on the front of the case. So we'll park this up. We're going to sleep. We'll come back in the morning and we'll see if we've got some manure. So it is a new day. It is a new month. The bedding has gone down. We can see that. There isn't visible manure that I can see. So if we go to the shed itself, does it tell us if there's any manure in there? Food, straw, slurry. It doesn't say that there's any manure. And again, in the actual animal pen in the menu, we've got productivity, straw, slurry. Then our different capacities for feed health and reproduction but we'll see we'll see if there is anything there so if i hit my fill trigger i'm not getting anything getting stuck in the muck that's what i'm getting We'll just try a little bit further down, just in case. Yeah, I don't see any manure for us to get. But we're definitely not picking anything up. I will give it a chance. I will sleep one more night and we'll see if they produce any manure. So we are back. It is October. There's still straw bedding down. So 15,000 litres of straw. Still got eight, oh, 5,000 litres of feed. But again, I'm not seeing manure. Let's just check that it's not turning up in there. It's not. And again, we'll have a little look in the menu. And again, we're just getting productivity, straw, slurry, feed capacities. Um, health and reproduction no manure we'll have another little go in the trigger gotta give it a fair shout I'm hitting my fill trigger the whole time and we're not getting anything happen We'll give it one go of opening the gate. We'll see if we can if we go in a little bit. So we're now inside. Okay, so we got it. So it's inside the barn. And we've got 6,000 litres. So if I start filling, there we are. So the trigger 
inside the barn. Excellent. I'm glad I gave that a try because I was starting to think maybe it wasn't a thing. But yeah, it's there. It's working. It's good to see. Love it. Things we love to see. So that is it. That is the Cow Barn by 750Ti Modern. I think it's a really nice mod. I like that it's an old style. This would look great on Zaloinka. Not going to lie. Perfect for Zaloinka. I like that we've got the manure. I'm, I'm glad I could find it. I'm glad I got it working. So we've got fillable manure from the cows. Milk points. Feed points all work fine. We've got a storage shed on here. This is really nice. I like the brickwork on it as well. Lovely, lovely little cow shed. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first look. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.